Oliver Hazard Perry Museum and Monument, tribute to the War of 1812. Who was he? He was an American Commodore, which is a high rank in the Navy, even higher than a captain. He was born in South Kingston, Rhode Island, and he's the son of Christopher and Sarah Perry. He was very involved in the Navy because his father was a naval officer. At age 14, he had become a midshipman or a naval cadet. He was directly involved in the Battle of Lake Erie and helped lead them to victory. Battle of Lake Erie. During Perry's naval career, he was stationed in Erie, Pennsylvania during the construction of a new fleet. The fleet was built so the Americans could take control of the lake of Lake Erie from the British. The fleet had nine ships during the key battle. They were the USS Niagara, the USS Lawrence, Ariel, Caledonia, Scorpion, Summers, Porcupine, Tigris, and Trippy. The battle lasted for several hours, but the Americans won. Nearly 100 U.S. men were injured, but only around 20 were killed. Even more British were injured and killed. The British commander was Berkeley. He was known for being a powerful British Commodore. It became a big surprise when Britain was informed of his failure. In a fun fact, during the battle, the USS Lawrence was in too bad of condition, and Perry had to sail between British ships to reach the USS Niagara. Why it should be built? The monument should be built because without Oliver Hazard Perry, we would not have the freedoms and rights that we hold today. Without the control of the waters, the Americans could not have won the war. This is why he deserves a special place in Washington, D.C. Another reason this should be built is because there are no naval monuments in D.C. This would not only honor Perry, but also veterans of the Navy for being recognized for their work. Details of my memorial and museum. It's going to be a building shaped like the USS Niagara. On the inside will be a small monument of Perry and the other ships. There will be a concrete circle with nine pillars around it. In the center will be a large pillar with a copper statue of Perry. On the smaller pillars will be a small copper model, copper model of a ship and a plaque with the name of the ship. On a plaque at Perry's pillar will be his famous quote, We have met the enemy and they are ours. We have... To the right will be a smaller size museum, and to the left a gift shop. Um, the chosen location is the tidal basin. I think I'm putting it in the water somewhere around here. I chose this location because it's close to many other memorials and parks, like FDR Memorial, and tidal basin is also the background there. Um, here's my um, digital model. Over here would be like the museum. In the center, it would be the monument. And to the left of it is the gift shop. Here would kind of be what it looked like in the water, um, except bigger. Oh, this. You go back and see if you can walk by the screen so the camera picks that up. Cost. Uh, time is six months to one year. Uh, the concrete for the circle and pillars would be around forty thousand six hundred ninety-four dollars. The copper statues would be an estimate of six thousand. The building would be around five hundred thousand dollars. The labor would be maybe around three million in the total would be three million five hundred forty six thousand six hundred ninety four dollars. What I believe tourists will take from this what I believe that tourists will take from this is to respect the Navy for protecting our country and to honor Oliver Hazard Perry and his fleet for helping our nation form. These are my sites and down here I have Pillars with Perry in the center, and right here is the plaque with his quote. And then around it are the nine pillars, and these gold pieces are uh, represent the copper ships. Questions for Mr. Kern about the Oliver Hazard Perry Memorial? I went to his 
uh, monument in Clinton Bay, and I thought it was just really interesting. What possible consequences did the American Army and Navy face uh, during the War of 1812 if, if Oliver Hazard Perry wasn't able to have success on Lake Erie? Uh, British um, could have controlled waters and came in and invaded. Why well, was it so important to control the high seas as well as these great lakes? Um, if they didn't, um, anybody could sneak attack them with a large fleet. And, and following the War of 1812, how does Oliver Hazard Perry, what's his career like, or how is he remembered in his own lifetime? Is he a popular hero? Would people have known about him, things like that? Yeah, he was really well known around the colonies and the country. So outside of Ohio, did you find any other um, recognitions for Oliver Hazard Perry? I think he worked on some ships around Rhode Island and the coast. Okay. Any other questions for Mr. Kearns? Let's give him a round of applause, please.